Welcome out, gamers and gameheads, to this RGL.GG Invite Quarterfinals Playoff Match coming down between Rewind and Space Force. Rewind, the number one seed at the top of Invite, narrowly securing that over K&D in the last week of the season, going to be taking on the winner of the wild card kind of gauntlet in Space Force. Should be a bit of a uh, underdog story, should they be able to win, but they put on a great showing against the Flow earlier, and they do have that one win off of K&D this season, the only game they've dropped, so we should be in for a pretty good match tonight. I'm Alto, joined at my side by Zagron with Dolphin behind the camera, as always. Zag, how you doing tonight? I'm good, I'm good. I'm looking forward to these maps we got lined up. Uh, it's a lot more explosive maps than last week, and I think we can see a lot of action going on. Yeah, let's get into those right away. We started off with Space Force banning upward, followed by a Rewind Swiftwater ban. Rewind then picks Asheville. Space Force going in with the Steel pick before Space Force bans Lakeside and the Tiebreaker map Rewind sets it as product. So, two Koth with Steel in between should be a pretty good one to see tonight. As uh, Koth, you know, going to be explosive as always, and Steel going to be a good, always, always a good time to watch stuff go on on that map. Yeah, I'm definitely excited to see how these uh, two teams play out, if we can get into them. Uh, uh, today, starting for Space Force, we got Fuzzy on Scout, Dreadnought on Soldier, Joey on Pyro, Seer or Gong on Demoman, Oct on Heavy, Sigafu on Engineer, Spotlight on uh, Medic, Cinder on Sniper, and Faint on Spy. Yep. And then coming in for Rewind, we've got Pablo on Scout, Rain on Soldier, River on Pyro, BM subbing in for Arts tonight as he's unable to make the match, Carson on Heavy, Exa NG, Kalo or China on Med, Shay on Sniper, and Evil on Spy. So, coming into this, I do think that um, we did see some good performances out of some Space Force players last week that may have had some question marks around them. I'm thinking particularly of Fuzzy and Joey, both having really good weeks. And obviously, Space or uh, the Flow, excuse me, isn't you know a team of the same caliber as Rewind. But we were just watching the pregame between Rewind and Empire, and... Empire put up a better fight against them than I would have expected, and I feel like not having Arts on demo, who's generally their main caller and, you know, has grown to be one of the better demos in Invite, is definitely going to be a major factor against them. Yeah, that could be a contributing factor to letting uh, the Space Forces combo of Seer, Okta, and uh, Spotlight getting uh, a lot of pressure they wouldn't normally be able to against a more coordinated combo. Uh, as these maps are going to really, uh, especially uh, Asheville, our first map, uh, combo-centric uh, mid-fights are going to really let us see which combo is more coordinated and walking across point getting pressure. Yeah, flanks too, going to have a really big impact. We've been seeing Rain have a really good performance all season. Pablo as well, you know, with that uh, with that bleed scout that he's known for. And coming into such a flank-heavy map on Asheville, I do have to think it favors them. A good map choice out of them. But again, Fuzzy and Dread had a really good performance last week, and if they're able to keep that up, you know, kind of even that out, the, uh, the missing demo from Rewind might provide to be... Uh, or might prove to be kind of the, the little step they need to make this a little more competitive, at least hopefully. And then also we're going to have to look at the sniper matchup of Cinder or Zoe and Shay going off against each other. And, uh, you know, Asheville, not the best sniper map, but if one sniper is able to, you know, kind of get in the groove, have a good game and let his, let his team protect him, he can still do a lot of work on this map. Yeah, definitely. Uh, pick class is going to be very important here. Faint versus Evil squaring off in the Spy v Spy. Uh, both very good spy players, legacy spy players for a long time now. And uh, we're really looking forward to see what they can do on these maps. Another point I want to bring up is um, this map Engineer is very important. We saw Exa really being a nuisance in pregame with those mini sentries coming out in all different kinds of locations. I want to see what he can bring to the table. Yeah, he wrangles them in Shutter, he wrangles them outside of Shutter, he wrangles them above Shutter sometimes. You know, lots of, uh, <laughs> lots of different places to be a nuisance from. But yeah, it really can't be understated how much those wrangled minis can do to just stop a scout or a heavy from edging the point, which can be so crucial on Asheville because the way these combo fights you know, often turn out, the defensive combo isn't really maintaining point pressure, so it's free for the offensive team to get in there you know, and at least kind of start it off, get some territory. But if you have that wrangled mini, you can really deny that. So Asheville is an interesting map because it gives a lot of the classes that you don't normally see have a lot of impact. So much agency in terms of pyro and uh, engineer, and even heavy in terms of getting aggressive, something we're bound to see Carson do. Yeah, agency, a very good word for this, because uh, very important to see which players are going to really be able to assert their wills on the enemy team. Um, literally looking at uh, these soldiers as well and seeing what they can do on their bombs in coordination with the rest of their team. Uh, a good, a well-timed bomb can make all the difference in these maps. As we do have uh, 17 in the server, so we're getting ready to start. Uh, you want to do some predictions? Uh, I'm going to call this... I'm definitely feeling Rewind taking this map. 
I feel like they very smartly picked a map that plays to all of their strengths. Um, but I think how well Space Force does in this is going to be a predictor of what happens later on in Steel and then potentially on product, should we get there. Um, we did have Zoe and Spotlight mentioning last week that they feel they are a very strong product team. So I think they're going into this map not really expecting that much of a win, just trying to feel out, you know, how Rewind's playing and, you know, what you know, kind of some of the weaknesses they could push are. So again, I, I mentioned them before, but I'm really looking for you know Joey and Fuzzy to be having good games as well as Zoe and to see a feints on point, because even if they're having a game, I don't think they I don't think they win Asheville, but I think they'd have a very good shot on Steel should they show up. Yeah, I do think this is going to be a very good indicator for how the rest of the match is going to go. I also think that you know coming in rewind is definitely uh, favorites. Uh, I really just want to see Space Force able to put up a, a good fight, you know, put up a viable mid fights. I want to see them, you know, making sure that they. Uh, can really hang in with these guys, the top uh, place team and in invite. And if they can do that, then we'll see how they can do on the maps that are more uh, favored towards them than this one. Yeah, and again, you know, Steel always is that kind of perennial upset map. We we saw how well Space Force plays when they're firing on all cylinders yesterday, and Steel's just, again, one of those maps where one good pick out of feint, you know, one clutch bomb coming in from Dread can be all the difference in a half, so... They get that, they get that momentum from Steel, push it into product where they, you know, themselves feel that they're really comfortable on. Who knows, we could have a really great upset in the works here tonight. Yeah, and uh, we did lose one player in server waiting on that. Uh, well, what could we talk about here for a bit longer, about how these teams are going to stock up? Uh, I already mentioned Fuzzy and Joey, but yeah, do you want to talk about any kind of players you're you're looking at? Maybe not necessarily who you're looking to be the big carries. But maybe some some kind of role players that you know maybe not wouldn't get a whole lot of credit, but you think you know need to have kind of quietly good performances. So I'm always uh, I'm always interested in you know those kind of behind the scenes players. Yeah, I'm definitely looking at the heavies here, especially because uh, Carson on Asheville, he's very known for being very good at walking across point on the sides and getting good pressure. And and I want to see if Okta is able to kind of match the pressure that he's going to output, and if Okta can. Uh, really you know, output what Carson is doing, then these combos are going to be on a much more even footing, especially with the missing Devil Man coming in for Rewind. Definitely a good point, too, because Octa's had a history of being known a little bit more as a passive heavy, you know, one who's a little bit more inclined to sit back, you know, eat some of those heals, but be there when his team needs him, whereas Carson, you know, uh, we saw in that pregame, lost his team a Borneo half after he flanked to the spawn <laughs> on offense to uh, get some spawn camps in on a scout, so... Definitely kind of polar opposites coming in on heavy right now. I'm inclined to say Carson has the better track record of success having, you know, placed first on Irene last season. But again, nothing's ever uh, set in stone as we saw with the flow versus fast forward. So definitely two, uh, two other core classes on Asheville, just getting that protection and for meds, you know, potentially getting aggressive on point and really making a whole lot of space. And since uh, we're still waiting, we can talk about all the classes now. Uh, we got the Pyro matchup in Joey vs. River, I think is interesting, because Asheville, a lot of uh, Pyro's job on this map is to really keep your medics safe. You know, watch for the spies coming in from those angles that it's hard to spy check. Watch for the bombs coming in over the top, and uh, denying uh, Ubers that come in to try to force your medic on ramp. So I really want to see if Joey's going to be able to step up and to be a player for his team in that case. Yeah, he definitely showed it last week, where I mentioned, I've mentioned it a couple of times, but I was very impressed by his play against the flow. But whether, but I'm going to be looking to see if he can keep up that same level against a much higher, you know, uh, a much higher or a higher skilled opponent in rewind. As again, you know, you you can make the argument that KND is the stronger team right now, given their match result against rewind and the fact that their only match loss to Space Force in Week One was with a completely different roster. But rewind still have that first seed for a reason, and they are not a team to be trifled with. Yeah, and uh, since we are talking about every class, uh, the last one really really haven't mentioned much is uh, medic. And uh, Medic, one of the biggest, one of the most important classes in the game. And uh, I'm really interested to see how Spotlight does, because he had a bit of a rough week last week, and uh, Chinatown definitely is known as a very good Medic. I want to see if Spotlight is able to properly keep heals on his players, especially in such aggressive mid-fights. And I really want to make I want to see him you know, make his Ubers very good, where he manages to flash all of his players. Yeah, I'm looking, looking for this, I guess, to kind of tie into the meds. I'm really looking to see how the spies are going to perform tonight, since we saw Cool Dog finding a lot of stabs onto Spotlight last week. And you can, you can make the argument that at some, some point in that game, you know, the, the flow may have stopped trying a bit and some of the tension got dissolved. But uh, Evil and Rain make a deadly combo for any meta to play against, I can say from firsthand experience. And if he's not fully on his game, one of those two are going to find themselves, you know, putting him on that respawn timer very frequently so it's going to be up to him as well as you know those already mentioned pyro and heavy classes do a good job of kind of countering that 
Yeah, we have 17 again. It looks like uh, the player we're waiting for on the server is uh, Zoe or Cinder. I'm trying to just wait for him. Uh, Asheville, again, not that good of a sniper map, but the snipers can be invaluable, you know, as always. The class is very strong, so I want to see which sniper is going to really be able to play this map in their own way to see which one can get uh, the advantages for their team. Yeah, and I mean, again, Zoe is just a really... I'd be inclined to say Shay. You know, if, if, I had to, if I had to bet right now, I'd probably take Shay. But Zoe's had so much experience. You know, he's been around the league forever. Just tons of, you know, games played, more playoff matches than most people in this server. So has the ability to, you know, really play smartly and just know how to get picks when his team needs them. And I feel like Asheville is one of those maps that's kind of like steel in the fact where because it's not as great of a sniper map off the bat, it's less about quantity, more about quality of frags, where it's not a product where you're, you know, sitting on rock, nailing headshot after headshot. If you can get that one crack shot off of ramp onto uh, onto the enemy med on ramp or, you know, hit that angle through the uh, metal sheet to the health pack on bats, you know, and find that one good pick, you can really stall a lot of time. But it looks like we have 18 in and we hear ready noises, so we should be live soon. That's our salvation. We talk about every class. We need to make a 10th class, but it doesn't last any longer. We Either way, yeah. I'm um, uh, gonna put a pin in that train of thought. That's not gonna go anywhere good. Yeah, unfortunate. The, both teams uh, have nine once again. One ready up has come in. Yeah, right. one thing we did notice from pregame was that BM came into mids very early and very aggressively trying to get spam off onto bats and shutter. Um, the Empire's demo in... Who did they have on demo there? I believe that was... Lizar. Lizar, yeah. Was playing it a bit more passively, so we saw a lot of aggression coming out from Rewind on these mids very early. Very fast bombs out of rain. Pablo getting in as well you know, to kind of mesh with that, but the Empire, at least, was able to successfully kind of shove that off sometimes, where that overaggression did end up biting them over time because they lost those players early despite maybe getting, like, a demo pick off of it. But we'll have to see how that plays out as we go live. Yeah, mid-fights are going to come in here. Uh, both Del men looking to do a standard rollout. BM going through. Looks like he's going to be going through Shutter here. Uh, I do want to see how uh, Gong matches his aggression, especially knowing that BM isn't the main uh, demo man for this team. He does roll out fans and he is faster than BM, so I'll let you take this mid fight. Yeah, BM, both demos going to take a little bit of damage, but Gong getting Arx. You know, Kalo's going to get sniped out immediately. Great shot out of Cinder. And we will see Rain coming in with a bomb now, trying to even that out. Frags, though, almost all going in the favor of uh, Space Force right now. Only four players up. Unfortunately, Spotlight will get taken out from Pablo in the back, but it's going to end up being a near wipe for Rewind. Shea, the only one alive, going to, no, not even escape with his life. And Space Force coming out big, showing they have something to prove with a huge wipe on this first mid. Yeah, the early snipe onto Chinatown kind of triggered something in uh, Rewind where they just said, okay, well, we, we have this aggression plan. Let's try it anyway. They bombed everybody in. They do manage to pick off Spotlight, but they don't get much else. They lose this point, but they will have about a 10% advantage, and they're looking to go, go, get aggressive here off the bats, exit of the mini setup. Yeah, they're already coming in right now. Evil looks like maybe getting behind un, uh, uncontested. Oh, it's dead again. Oh, tons of just re-pushing coming out of Rewind. They are going to mulch the entirety of Space Force on ramp, find themselves a quick six, make that seven kill, eight kills, as Evil's able to get two more on the back end of that, and they take that point back in a resounding fashion. Yeah, we saw this in the pregame. They're just, uh, Rewind just has a really great aggressive game plan where they have this bats push that just gets so much spam. Space Force unable to respond to it, now they're just lining up on bats. Their medic again at a very heavy disadvantage because of another death, as uh, Rewind does set up in the standard ramp bolt here. Yeah, Shay on that very back of ramp, looking for bombers, gonna take Dreadnought out of the air. See her going down immediately after, so nothing to be found in on that sack. Good defensive play from him, kind of channeling Andrew on that back of ramp spot. As of the first wave of sacks, not gonna go over too well. Spotlight sitting at 60%, will have Uber sooner rather than later, but it remains to be seen if they get a second sack wave off. Yeah, uh, uh, rerun now 20 seconds ahead of Space Force. We're gonna see uh, if they have a. Uh... Space Force can really get out of here, uh, get out of their lobby with this Uber they have in a second. Uh, kill onto Evil is going to help them be a bit less uh, wary of the spy. Uh, Sinner just get deaded on Shutter, so he's low, and now this bomb coming to try to force Super again. He gets the drop! Oh, Kalo going to go down. BM and they are also going down as well. Dread and Faint going to get taken out, but that is more than a worthwhile trade. River going ham and going to get a lot of damage off with those flames. Bomb in, Octa, though, staying alive. Oh, the bomb. Octas or Spotlight's going to get popped at about... 20 HP when he used it. Great shot out of Zoe with the Uber to take out Exa. 
wrangling that mini sig getting a little bit low but the point will go down in their favor and a great bomb out of dread in order to find octa and a good repush from the space force keeping players alive although joey does get taken out by some spam in the post and that's going to key off the aggression immediately yeah, it was a really great bomb to force the Uber. They needed to really hold their medic, though, because if they didn't force that Uber, they'd be in a really good situation to deny Sick this now. has got but... a level 2 on ramp! Yeah, blind, uh, re-aggression coming in because of a lack of that Uber, and they will lose the point again. They're trying to re-push in now. Yeah, Faint has taken out Shay in the back line, though. Getting that sniper pick, gonna reopen this. Hexa again with that wrangled mini. Faint not in a position to sap it or stab him immediately. Gun's gonna go down. No one edging yet, though, as Sigafu's up on roof with that Rescue Ranger. His gun has been moved forward a little bit, and the recap's gonna start to come in right now, or at least the edging is, so he gets a shot on Terrain. Yeah, but a uh, really great cleanup in here on Carson, gonna take two kills as the Uber does come out. It comes from, out, uh, yeah, gonna be popped on both sides. Good deny coming out of Joey. He's doing a lot of disruption right here. Cap time still gonna, or cap point at least, the presence is gonna reign in Space Force's favor. And they should come down with a rewind B or recap. BM gonna get hit low. Cap finally coming in. Both meds getting out alive, it looks like. Although Spotlight's gonna sit on a very slight ad. And with that ad and Sigafu's gun, they can keep their numbers. They should be in a good position to hold this. Yeah, we'll have to see how the spam comes in. Because Gong is kind of alone on the point right now. He does get back up. Carson does shred a bit. Fan coming in, not gonna get a pick. Uh, this is, the Ubers are slightly advantageous for Space Force here. Uh, Rewind is either gonna try to get a bomb in to really get the force in when it's time or they're just gonna try to do their dry push aggression again. It looks like they're lining up bats for it. Yeah, Sigafu all gonna get stabbed, so the level two going down right as the aggression comes back in. Dread and Faint going down as well. Octa now getting headshot. Uber's gonna come out. Kalo is not yet ready to have this Ooh. yet. It looks like he escapes for now though. Gong though, going in deep. Gonna find Carson and BM on this Uber, but uh, Spotlight gonna get run down by he was Evil on ramp with rain, so. Cap gonna come back in here for rewind after a pretty crazy Uber trade. Yeah, Space Force just dropped too many players in the pre-Uber, so they didn't really have enough uh, enough players to really clean up on the damage. The medic does not go down for rewind as they sit on a full advantage here. Only 40 seconds left to defend this point. We're gonna have to see a new bomb come in from Space Force in a second. Yeah, I don't know if Dread's gonna be able to drop China twice in the same half. They're playing so far back. They're playing so passive. They can get calls on this, which they should. Faints right in there. They should just be walking in on point which they're gonna do at least. Fuzzy and Sigafu getting aggro here. Zoe takes out Exa, so no one of that wrangled mini to deny Fuzzy, but he's getting hit up by those pipes. We see Octa now getting aggressive. No frags have been found otherwise yet. Pablo on that ramp getting tanked. One of pipes gonna connect and force him out. Faint getting caught on the back end, so no spy as the Uber comes out. BM and Rain really want that mini sentry, but they're not finding too many other frags with this. River finally coming in, gonna take out Joey Fuzzy. Octa getting frags though, Rain coming with a bumper behind. Gonna clean up the rest of it, and the first round is gonna go in favor of Rewind. Yeah, that Uber disadvantage was just too much high of a hurdle to overcome as a space as a Rewind manages to hold that point really well. Uh, the Uber to deny, and they really just managed to clean up that fight well. Great uh, gameplay right there from uh, Rewind to go up 1-0. Additionally, they are playing absolutely relentlessly with how quickly and just fearlessly they are going in for these rewinds. But BM's going to get hit with a cleaver off the mid. Shay finds the uh, revenge for him onto Fuzzy, so that's the first frag. Cinder, though, equalizing it back out onto Shay. No sniper for rewind. Rain's going to go down as well off of a bomb, it looks like, or a flank fight. Frags are heavily in Space Force's favor. Carson getting aggressive, trying to salvage it. He's going to take out Gong. Ooh, Zoe finds another shot onto Kalo. Carson going down as well, BM, and we're gonna see almost another wipe coming out of Rewind on this mid, or for Rewind, I guess, as Space Force show another dominant mid fight. Yeah, the trade there at the beginning of Sniper for uh, uh, Scout was so important because at the beginning it didn't look like uh, Space Force could really clean up off uh, Gong's damage because of no Scout, but then uh, Cinder hits a great snipe onto the Medic, so then they have the damage to push in, they get the cleanup, they manage to full wipe Rewind again as they do hold on for a full advantage right now. We're gonna have to see a bomb coming in or try to force this Uber out from a Rewind. Yeah, and again, we, we saw before, anytime they got the point though, Rewind was just relentless in how quickly they could find a pick and go off of it. Here there comes is. Rain in on the bomb. He's gonna Stay get forces. the force off, not able to reflect any of those rockets. Spam gonna be put onto BM. He will be found on this as uh, it looks like he's gonna be the only casualty. Rain killing himself off of the bomb. Evil getting punched out in Shudder by Sigafu. So uh, his mini is going to be safe for a bit, but other than that, Uber at back in the favor of Chinatown. And yeah, the second, should be BM to is, soon. the second BM is up, they're going to look to just walk off these bats like they normally do. Uh, they will have Uber very soon, so it's uh, going to be Space Force to see if they can get their medic out. Great snipe onto Cinder starts this. Yeah, bomb again out of rain. Going to get denied this time. Good job by Zoe. Spam coming in, though, and with that aggression, there's going to be a bit of contention around this point. 
Carson Agro gonna get wrangled off of it, although Pablo may finish off this calf. Not Uber yet, looks like. out yet. Yeah, no, they're still getting the Sigafu copying an Exa here, wrangling that mini, doing a really good job of it. And Shay's gonna get, actually, no, he's gonna get sniped, but that Wrangler almost took him out. Ran out of it's... ammo, and Spotlight has Uber now. Yeah, it's a really weird play, because that just gave Spotlight time to get his Uber now. Instead of full committing, they really wanted to try to dry commit. Because of that, they give Spotlight time to get Uber. The bomb from Rain does not pan out this time, as uh, now Sp uh, Space Force holds with a minute and a half delay as they pop into uh, to try to stop Cap. Yeah, Uber's gonna get popped out of defense first, but BM gets dropped, so Kalo losing one of his players here. It's just a scout now, so Flash is coming out on the side of Rewind, but you have to imagine they're gonna have a better Uber. Rexa has to take a Flash to avoid dying to Afterburn, and health numbers are all in the favor of Rewind, or uh, Space Force, excuse me. Pablo is going to finish that cap despite the wrangled mini, but they may be in position to repush this now, though. It looks like they are going to back out. Uh, Seer going down is going to be too big of a frag for them to ignore. Yeah, good backstab onto Seer, really solidifies that point. Exit with the wrangled mini, making space for a scout to cap the point as Rewind does manage to take this. They'll be at about a 20% disadvantage, but it won't be enough to push off of, really. So we're going to have to see what the Space Force decide to do here if they want to try for the dry aggression. Yeah, Spotlight getting a little aggressive up on ramp right now. Interesting, we're seeing a repush from ramp side. Shay is kind of scoped in on that. He will find uh, Joey. Rain and Pablo going down as Zoe is continuing to be very dominant this match. And we see Space Force getting in. Shay finds another shot onto Okta as Zoe counters on River. And both pick classes are going ham right now as Faint does take out Shay. So, uh, sniper advantage in the Uber, favor what? here of Space Force. Uber is going to get popped. Up. I think that was an Andy headshot? Out of evil, Uber's gonna get popped onto Carson in return. Dread with an ill-timed bomb, gonna run into that invulnerable heavy. And evil still on the back of ramp, causing chaos. Gonna take out Joey with two headshots in a row. Trades his life, but rewinds fine with that as they continue to hold this point. Well, it does manage to get spotlighted. Rain picking off that medic is going to allow his team to keep holding this. And th that last push was so interesting because both teams dropped a lot of players on the dry aggression, but the heavy from uh, Rewind stayed up, so because of that, they couldn't really get aggression on that point. Uh, Space Force looking to push back out here, though. Without their medic, they're just trying dry aggression. Yeah, Zoe's been on a tear picking up kills, and with the sniper down, they can at least start edging this right now. That wrangled mini all doing a lot more damage than you'd think without having buffs. But no, Zoe finds Callow! Absolutely on a tear right now, top scoring the server in its entirety right now, as Carson and River are going to go down as well, and Space Force are going to be the first team to dip under a minute in the second round. Yeah, really big plays coming out from uh, Cinder here, giving his team all the advantages they need to take out these points. Uh, Dead Ringer coming in from Evil, he will not be able to get in, and the Uber is going to be at a 50-60% advantage for Space Force here. So we're going to have to see uh, Rewind try their dry aggression again, see if they can get the Medic, but uh, it hasn't been really working as well right now for Rain recently. Yeah, we're gonna see BM and Evil now trying to get a little aggro on this. Evil on that Ambi landing. Because the bomb. Low damage headshots. Yeah, bomb in onto Spotlight. Doesn't get it. Not gonna find him. Sigafu gonna be the counter trade here. Shay takes him out. Carson really aggro though. Gonna take out multiple combo members. Spotlight dropping a lot of his team right now. He's gonna catch up onto Seer and Fuzzy, but Fuzzy goes down as well once that fades. Spotlight getting run down by Pablo, getting jumped by everyone, and it's a fiesta on ramp as he's gonna go down. 15 seconds left on the clock, only two up on Space Force, but. One more cap from them, they could take a round back here. Yeah, it looks like we do have a pause coming out here. In a ton of fights, as we will see the uh, the pause end here right now. Not too much going on, as we mentioned, and uh, get that HUD reload scheme coming right back in. See where we at time-wise. 108, 107, 6, 5 left on the clock for Rewind. So the pressure's on for Space Force to come back in and try to salvage this round. Yeah, the Uber's going to be out here very soon for Rewind, so I want to see what uh, Space Force's plan here to get this off. Looks like Aggressive Bomb coming in right now. Yeah, they're not going to find anything on the combo, but Shay and River both going down off of Stab, so that could very well open things up for Space Force here. We're going to see Kano Pressure going back in onto Bats. The Rain finds Spotlight on the Bomb. Will go down to Okta, but the rest of them are going to get cleaned up. And a very good counter sack out of... Uh, rewind here, something you don't always see against the, with the team that has the point, but killing Spotlight there means he may not have Uber in time for this push here. Kalos sitting on 100% means something's going to have to drop him if they want to take this round. Yeah, they definitely won't have time to have an even push, so we need to see a miracle really come out here with this Uber being dropped, honestly, is the way that they win this. Yeah, Dread going in, try. but no, really no damage at all. He's going to get the sniped. force, actually, but tons of frags coming back in onto Space Force, and it's just a massacre right now as the rest of Rewind is going to come in on this point and close out the round. No frags to be found for anyone on Space Force. Tons of streaks on the scoreboard. A 7k for Pablo, as we will be looking at a 2-0 for Rewind moving into this last round.
Yeah, for Space Force, yeah, Space Force going down to 15 seconds really says a lot about their abilities here. They are able to really contest uh, rewind for these rounds. It's just we need to see them adapt to this aggression more because, uh, like I said, with the counter stack, that doesn't come out that often. The aggression doesn't come out that often either from teams that aren't as coordinated. So we have to see how they adapt in this final round. Possibly. Yeah, both teams out really early on this mid. Really aggro bomb out of rain, gonna get taken out immediately. Good shot out of Zoe, who has stayed in the game. Playing and doing a good job of that. Shay's gonna get taken out immediately as well. So Space Force again with these really dominant mids. Gonna have to see if they can keep it up. Dread playing aggressively, getting some good spam onto Ramp as point pressure starts to come in for Space Force. Yeah, Carson takes out Dread on the left side. We're gonna have to see if he can contest this point alone. He's looking to try to shred. He's basically admitting his death here. He just wants to try to get damage. Bomb in right now. It does get reflected very expertly by Joey. Yeah, and that wrangled mini gonna be doing a lot of work, helping Rewind get back in on this point. Not too many frag though. Sigafu's just now res or Sigafu's really the only one dead, and uh, both teams have Uber. Red's gonna pop first. Blue will have the better exchange here, but no one's really going down. It looks like he's gonna get snapped in the back of this. So no sniper, but the point presence remains on the side of Rewind as they come back in with a swift recap here. Rain on the bomb, not gonna find anything. But Zoe taking out BM as Rain goes in again. Gonna take out the sniper. Oh, and the pyro this time as he managed to survive. Go in for a second helping and help his team kind of secure this recap. Yeah, Pablo goes down at the end, but great kills coming out for the majority of uh, of Rewind here. Evil, another one onto Fuzzy. Great ambi headshot. As uh, Space Force really trying to like regroup and look to get back aggressive. Shea aggressive on point right now, looking at the bat side. I want to see if he gets anything there that'll delay this push. Yeah, unfortunate. Again, we see the same thing every mid. It's like where Space Force comes out dominantly, gets the mid, but just isn't able to hold on to it due to the aggression out of Rewind. And we do see Spotlight with a slew add on Kala right now, so he has been building a little better. 90%, so he's going to continue his dominance, taking out Rain. Exit getting stabbed out as well means no mini. Spotlight has, gonna maybe use, no, he's holding on to it. Good on him to keep it as the uh, point time comes in. Bomb coming in, it looks like, no, that was Rain bombing out actually. Pablo's going to get cleavered and go down. Fuzzy pulling off the Dom on the enemy scout. And it's going to be a very clean push out of Space Force, holding on to their Uber. Yeah, holding on to the Uber is the important part. Now they're able to defend this push, defend against uh, the aggression from Rewind. We'll have to see if they can, you know, not lose their players before and during the Uber this time. That'll really help them keep this point for longer and get an advantage in time here. Great headshot on to Rain from Center. He's still so going off. on tonight. Yeah. He's going to take Another it out. One. Shay, too, on the other side of the map, railing them off. Pablo Edging going to get forced off. The Uber comes out of Spotlight, though. Looks like he got forced off of a... Uh, off of something. I don't know if that evil, was just spam. Probably evil, yeah, with those headshots. He will kind of end Cinder's uh, reign of terror temporarily. Dread's going to have to jump out to save himself from Carson up on that. So, EM, though, seeing this trademark aggression right now, going to land spam in. Uber comes out. Oct is going to get taken out off. by a headshot. They need to get yeah. out. Joey's doing a good job of stuffing the rest of the Super Spotlight to just tail it and run. But yeah, it looks like he will get out safely for now. Although, no, River going in through Shutter behind. Going to take him out committed a little bit too hard and even though Joey lands the nice flare shot onto River his med is gonna go down would have been better for him to just head out immediately rather than breeding in on Joey but some frags found in return Kahlo actually going down Zoe finds him and Carson in the meantime so he, despite being sick IRL he cannot be stopped Rain's gonna try to get some spam rockets but we're gonna see Space Force coming down with the point again yeah, we do see it come out temporarily. They did drop a few players, and uh, they do not have uh, an advantage here. So we're gonna, probably going to see more aggression come out from Rewind. Uh, Gong does manage to set up on this point. River trying to edge now. Hard for the Delmen to deny the Pyro, so we'll have to see if they can uh, really get any defense going or if they're just going to back out again. Yeah. Red's going to get a whip kill onto Rain. Not sure where that was, but again, the entire just surge from Rewind. Zoe's going to land the shot onto Carson. Callow in his sights now won't be able to find him, but again, this fast recap. Shay finally finding the counter snipe onto Zoe. And yeah, they got some frags, but it's just not enough. Yeah, a small 30 second advantage coming out here for Space Force, though. And the Uber, their mech did not die this time, so the Uber should be out uh, in time to trade with enough time in the round. Uh, we're going to have to see which pick classes can really get an opening frag here as Shay's taking the aggressive angle onto Bats again. Very Bank aggressive telly by out. Sigafu as well. Very far up on bats behind that metal sheet. Gonna get his team right back into the thick of the Bomb action. Whoa. Oh, great shot out of Shea again in with that defensive positioning. The Uber's gonna come out right now. It will be answered in kind. River stuffing this as we've come to see him do a lot. Spotlight's gonna get out right now, but it looks like BM, Okta, and Pablo are gonna be the frag so far. More, num more players, it looks like, on the point for Rewind right now. But Dread coming in with a bomb. 
Gonna take Kalu low. He surfs out though to keep his life. Spotlight goes down to River on the back end Sigafu's of this. on Kalu here. Oh, he is. Can he pick him up? He's going for it. Going for it. Can he find him? He yes, gets he him! Gets the shot. Sig, the man, coming in, showing why he is the head admin of RGL. Gonna find him, and that's gonna put Spotlight on a pretty decent ad. He's gonna be back in. Evil, though, on bats right now, will not get the shot onto Cinder. Gonna uh, get that. I think that's, yeah, no, that's Octa taking him out as the cap comes in. The bomb so. in. Great reflection, Joey, again. Yeah, really showing up tonight. Oh, no, but, oh, got him some bats. Gets the shot from Ramp, actually, onto oh, yeah, Ramp, Spotlight. So, Uberad gonna be in the favor of Blue right now, and they're already back on this, as we've come to expect from Rewind. Yeah, Exa now is a level 2 in uh, Shutter Wrangled. Shay gets a pick onto Okta. It's gonna really cause us to... River and Shay what? both Great dead, cleanup, though, though from uh, Zoe and Gong getting picks on. Mini's yeah. just as annoying as a level 2, honestly. Sig tactically with the tactical reposition, denying Pablo from edging, and they're not able to find much. It's actually the entire rewind combo going lower in on them here. Exa and Rain are going to go out, but more trades being found onto uh, Space Force. Gong and Spotlight in Shudder, but Carson's going to end Gong's dreams of contesting this for Spotlight away as well. And only 10 seconds. Oh, Evil finds Spotlight on Bats, and I think that may be the nail in the coffin yeah. for this round. Aggressive hold coming rewind here, trying to just push them back off their own Bats. This will get ended without anyone getting on the point. Oh, uh, Seer and uh, Fuzzy are in behind on this point. They will go down shortly, though, it looks like. Uber comes out, and that uh, should be the 3-0 coming here if they can clean up Okta. Yeah, Okta's not going to make it to the point in time, so the 3-0 coming out from Rewind, which I think was expected, I would say. But I think Space Force put up a lot better of a fight than we expected them to, getting, you know, I believe under a minute in all three rounds. Yeah, definitely very close rounds coming in, Space Force. Uh, again, this is uh, Fast Forward's, or Rewind's first map pick that they chose for themselves, so it's probably the most confident map they're on. This does bode well if this does end up in product, you know, another Koth map. Uh, but for now, we do head on over to Steel. If we have logs of Asheville we can bring up, maybe. Yeah, let's try to get those up right away. Unfortunate, too, that, you know, you see the 3-0 and you think, oh, Space Force just getting 3 0 is kind of what you expected, but it really doesn't tell the story. But when you open these logs, first two things, Zoe, 27 and 14, 500 DPM. Right below him, Carson, 25 and 11. Two crazy stat lines from arguably, you know, the two carries of these teams. Shado, yeah. actually, coming out in that last round, I think, did kind of salvage his performance. He was definitely... Uh, you know, dragging at times in the, you know, the first round or two, but having a good round for himself is going to end up third on the scoreboard as well, right with Pablo. Yeah, and it was a really great performance from uh, the combo of Rewind, really adapting to not having their main dome, man. Carson stepping up really big to help deal with that. And uh, unfortunately for uh, Zoe and Faint, uh, their performances weren't enough to help their team take a round even. Yeah, definitely unfortunate there, but we will move into Steel right now. So, yeah, Zag, do you want to give some opening thoughts on Steel? Yeah, Might once be, again, you know, looking uh, to see. Yeah, Steel always the upset map in Highlander. Uh, a lot of the traditional methods that you see teams uh, run on Koth kind of go out the window when you need a lot of classes that don't normally step up to step up, like Engineer and uh, Spy more so than usual. So. I really do want to see what uh, the teams decide to do on their offensive pushes, because uh, Exa very, very uh, keen on getting that level three in behind. We saw him do it in the pre-match as well. Yeah, I think one of my favorite things about uh, Steel is just how you know creative some of those engineers can get. Just like Asheville, you know, it's another big map where they can have a lot of impact. You know, a class you don't always see really kind of at the forefront. Um, gonna again, I think. I'm definitely going to be looking for Space Force to try to take a round here. Um, I think that if Zoe can consistently find those great kills, we saw him finding him in Faint, Dread as well, getting in on those bombs. I think it's very, very feasible for him to take this here because so much of Steel is just that those defensive respawn timers are just a couple seconds longer, it feels like, than on other maps. So sometimes, you know, you lose your combo in a bad Uber trade and suddenly you're on 25 second respawns and that's enough time for someone to get in and, you know, do a ton of work, either get on a spawn door, get set up on E, you know, start moving into C territory or whatever. And that really can just, it, it feels like a map where after B, you know, you get, you get like one life, you get like one strike on steel before you're out. Where you know, okay. if you, you wipe on B, you, you, you have a chance at resetting back up either, you know, maybe you have to give up C in the process, but you can get a lobby hold. After that, though, anytime else, and you're just, you know, you're tempting fate if you want to try to win this. 
Yeah, teams practice their B holds much more than any other holds on this map, just because it's you know the initial hold that you do. A lot of maps, a lot of uh, matches, scrims on steel don't really go the full distance all the way around the world, as we say, where the teams get a chance to defend every point. So mistakes that are made in those transitions, you know, after the early game points, definitely very costly. And we'll have to see uh, which teams are able to really pull themselves together in those moments. One thing too, though, that I do want to say is that even though this was Space Force's map, and I think they have a lot of good things going for them. That nasty habit they have of continually dropping players is not something you want to see on Steel. You know, Steel's one of those maps where the less you die on defense, the better. I mean, granted, it's like that on pretty much every map. But, you know, on, on some, some of the cough maps, you can get away with having those trades, you know, if you can kind of trade up. On Steel, though, you're going to be, you know, Rewind's a good team. They're going to know how to play Steel, and I doubt we'll see any major, you know, just kind of systematic mistakes from them on how to play the map. So if you're consistently losing key combo members to, you know, pick classes or just kind of bad positioning after those fights, Rewind's going to take advantage of that, and they're going to, you know, take the inch that you give them and push it a mile. Yeah, definitely. Uh, both these teams, I do have confidence that they'll be able to get the snowballs if they're given them, may or may not come in, based on uh, how well they do play this map. And uh, another thing that I think will be interesting to watch is what teams do for their uh, B defenses, because, you know, those are the most uh, the most tested defenses. We might see standard play coming out. We might see uh, the thing where the sniper hides over the over the, the ladders on B, watching the offense push out. And uh, we saw last time uh, we, this map was played on our cast, very big picks came in from the snipers on those. So uh, we, we moved from Asheville to uh, Asheville to Steel, and both those maps aren't traditionally known as sniper maps, but I definitely think those uh, both the snipers can be very impactful here. Yeah, and one thing that I'm going to be looking for too is Shea is uh, known for basically suiciding down drop down on offense as many times as it takes to get that god shot onto the med you know holding on b so it looks like we will be seeing rewind starting on defense so we're not going to look for that immediately but you know that is one of the uh, harder to stop plays in the game should he be able to land that first shot so we do now have all 18 into the server it looks like and everyone's on the right team so hopefully we should be getting going soon yeah, and no, with Space Force on this offense, to start out, I'm really, really interested to see what they do at the beginning with their flank and engineer, because I think this will really set the tone for the entire rest of this match, uh, to see uh, what they're able to accomplish with the, their flank, the people who aren't you know under their supervision of their combo, to just see what they can do to cap this B point. Rewind's uh, B hold is going to be very hard to break, and I want to see what they'll be able to do to actually break it. And yet we saw Rewind on Steel, you know, in the regular season, put together a really strong performance, really understanding how to, you know, play the entire map. Especially with, uh, you know, we saw, I believe, Exa had a sentry gun put up in Wishbone behind, was it Fast Forward we watched on Steel, I believe? I believe so. Yeah, we saw them get that, you know, level 3 up behind them, and that caused a lot of havoc. You know, Rain, again, was finding ways to find his way into the combo, dropped, uh, dropped Moose with the Cow Mangler charge shot. One of the uh, high or low lights of that match, depending on which side you're watching it from. Um, but yeah, just there's so many creative things you can do on Steel, and I feel like Space Force is a team that can take advantage of that. But they're really going to need to sharpen their play if they want to, because those, again, those just those drop players that you see that you saw in Asheville, you know, one's going to continually punish them for that. Yeah, and our first uh, team has ready up here, so we're looking to get into it very soon. Uh, speaking of sharpening play, I really really do want to see how uh, Cinder is able to come out here. I really do hope he's feeling better, see if he can keep railing off these shots. He can be a really big uh, impact for his team. And uh, as the underdogs, they really do need all their players to go all out. Yeah, and I, I mean, I think that some of the players, you know, we saw Joey have a really good performance on Asheville. Fuzzy pulled a dom on Pablo, at least at the beginning. So, you know, he wasn't really uh, lacking in any way either. It just it feels like more some of the uh, more established players like Seer and Okta weren't having the best halves last time, so it might be time for them to kind of step up and support their uh, support their younger members of the team in a way that'll help them win. You know, as we're in setup right now, Sigafu is going to start building up a level three, but what he does with it remains to be seen. Yeah, crit traps coming in from a uh, rewinds defense here. They're putting it on the staircase to upper. Hopefully, defend their heavy there. Defend whoever stands up there with that. Exa is going to be putting up his gun in the standard position on the ledge right now. Dispenser in there as well. We don't see a teleporter yet, it looks like, on either spawn door, really. So nothing there. Maybe we're going to see him get... Yeah, he does wrangle jump up to cliff. He's going to leave it to exit tele up top. Big question, yeah. though, is is he going to leave the entrance? Because if you leave the entrance up, it's easier to get to, but a spy has the ability to take it. It doesn't look like he's going to put up an entrance anywhere yet. 
Yeah, it might be in spawn when he decides to put it up there, but for now, early snipe onto center from Shay. It's really just seeing an early pick, it doesn't really mean anything. As uh, evil does go down over on A side as uh, Space Force look to just cap A up. Yeah, River on that Scorch shot and Flog combo actually, which can be so deadly and annoying in this hallway. Octa's gonna burn, already getting a ton of, uh, just getting a ton of full charge on that. I don't know if he has it yet, but he's gonna be close, so that's something that uh, Space Force is really gonna have to watch out for. Yeah, stream things to watch out for. Uh, Shay's still here looking at the entrance onto B. It looks like Sigafu has left his gun uh, in spawn, so he's not moving that into the flank. So D's gonna be the main focus here. Shay's gonna drop down, tries to get Sigafu's gun, but he's gonna miss the shot. Sig, where is he putting that? Oh no, he's bringing out the dispenser first. He's getting ready to put the gun in the staircase, actually. You're gonna see Fuzzy bonk to cover for the gun to allow it to get up, and he's gonna get it built up there, so a really good play. Gonna force the rest of them up there. It will go down though, unfortunately, he's unable it's to keep healing it. It's a play, but not sure it's gonna make enough space for them to really push in. We do see uh, Dread coming through Wishbone here, so the flank has gotten through. We're gonna have to see uh, what they decide to do, how they converge on this behold here. Faint is behind, and that Telly has come up right now, so uh, lots of players up there. River should have Flog charged by now, I'd have to imagine. Stop on the gun, we're in. Yep, Fuzzy's gonna come up and bonk behind as a distraction. X is gonna get sniped out, Dread and Rain going down as well. Evil finds Cinder in the back line, but no Uber. Oh no, Uber does get popped on the red side. BM and Kalo chasing really deep, but there's a kind of a ring around the rosy happening. Spotlight and Gong behind, there comes the Flog, gonna force out the Uber, and he's gonna live. Actually takes out Octa. Spotlight and Gong now coming in around, but they're not gonna be able to find too much of that, and just a bit of a chaotic Uber gonna go heavily in the favor of Rewind. Yeah, that looked really good at the start for Space Force. They managed to get the gun, they managed to get the force, but they didn't back their medic out and get ready for a repush. They kind of just stayed in there and really bled players, and they eventually bled their Uber out with nothing gained. So uh, that's unfortunate, but they do have the high ground here. That is what they have gained. They get a snipe onto Pablo, and we'll see after how they repush this. Yeah, they got the exit Tele 2 up there, which is important to mention because it's going to stop Exa from building another one unless he has time to wrangle jump up, but he's rebuilding his gun back on the, in the passive position as a... Uh... Rewind, or Space Force, excuse me, will come in with the upper control, but Span's gonna force them out a bit. Yeah, I'm not sure they'll be able to really take this, as upper is regained by rain, but the gun does deny him back. Cinder gets sniped out, though, so we'll have to see really what they can do here. And what I want to see them do is I want to see them play Wishbone again. They had a really good play with Dreadnought bombing in on a sap before. But uh, regardless, means... they're trying to drive push up here. Yeah, they're rain has Uber the battalions change. popped in this. Calo, though, doesn't great have Uber, gonna die with 98. Cedar doing a great job taking him out. River getting a kill with that flog. They have charges. BM has looped back around in upper. So has Carson, actually. They're just going to get behind, and despite finding Kalo, Spotlight going to go down to that flog, flog at the very end. Going to find three kills with it and just rewind. Going to lose a lot of players, but take out just as many on Space Force and continue holding B. Yeah, but the issue here is that the offensive spawns are, you know, shorter and they're closer. Not necessarily closer, but they're just as close. So they will be out on B here first. Yeah, they're gonna get some cap time in, but all the Rewind players are still there. Dread going in with a bit of an odd bomb angle. Gonna force them out back into Wishbone then. It looks like this cap will come down, but it was a very long time. So probably two, three minutes would be my guess, if not longer. 322, yeah, 320. so... On the longer side, still still workable for Space Force, but if you want to get a really good steal time, you like to see those minute and a half. Watch out for the sticky trap here. Ooh, the Fist Heavy checks it so it doesn't get anyone. They're trying to just really go down the uh, Wishbone here. Yeah, but frags, oh, Mulch. Space Force is, yeah, just getting absolutely mulched in here. BM on a 9 streak right now. Dread is going to go down, leaving Spotlight alone. Thankfully, Sigafu's mini is going to protect Spotlight right now. Pablo, Pablo can't chase him out. But, uh, yeah, just first push is a failure in that. The C cliff gates are opening up. We see River already up there watching for that, but I think that's definitely the move here. Space Force is going to be trying Wishbone again, though, which I don't think is recommended. They're probably going to see if they can get a sniper pick here, and they do manage yeah. to pick off River, so that may, you know, pump something up forward. The bonked really blocking by time here, but it won't do much, as now we'll have to see where the super exchange comes in, as the sniper does rotate out. Yeah, he looks like he may be going up towards... BM yeah, over stays. Yeah. Oh, he yeah. Dies. Gonna get caught out. The Uber's gonna get popped out, but Kalo drops his demo, so it's only gonna be on the scout right now. Octa's gonna go down, but he's probably gonna be the only one there. Spotlight kiting out. You know, they're getting an advantage here, but the time is still ticking away. Rewind's gonna... You know, you can't expect Rewind to have a bad time here, so you want to be moving quickly. Pablo yeah. gonna get aggressive here, gonna barely escape with his life. No, gets Dies, taken man. out by Fuzzy, so hopefully we see that cliff push coming in. I'm not entirely sure, but no, it looks like 
They're just getting into uh, C. Still yeah, no it really doesn't need spotlight. to because they have a full uber advantage and they do use it here to really try to brute force B. They need more players in here though. Their scout gets left behind trying to get flash now. He does take the heavy and this will be a clean C cap as that full uber advantage does ring true for the for or Space Force. That was a bit risky, but Seer had a great play where he bombed behind and then took out three players including the sniper Temo and Med. So really key picks there coming in from Serum. What looked like a bit of a scattered Uber at first. They are going to decide to rotate right back into E, it looks like, or taking lobby control even with their sniper. So an interesting play here. X is going to try to get a gun up, but Zoe has eyes on it. So that mini won't last long. Seer already pushing into D. Going to find River and get blasted back. Not going to go down, though. Yeah, I do like this player to get lobby control because now they have a way to watch... Uh, the point in the main spawns if they want to try to contest that as they're trying to walk into D here take the D Oh, but Kalo goes down. Dread finds him in on a bomb. Carson and River going down to Okta as well. Shay gets the counter track back onto that heavy. Oh, Shea's and still Joey here. as well. So it's just Seer right now and it looks like, yeah, Spotlight going down to Shay. Well, so Shay finding his revenge for product. And just, yeah, that looked like what could have been a promising push, but it's going to end up going terribly for Space Force. Yeah, now Lobby Control will come back in here for Rewind as BM looks to sticky off the entrances. And this will be a full reset for Space Force here. They really have nothing on the map going for them as they look to try to regain ground. Yeah, and with that Telly being on... Actually, I'm not sure where that exit is right now. It doesn't look like it's up, so... Uh, it's, not... in, it's in the cliff on C and B. Yeah, Spotlight going to come into A right now, but no one's with him, and he's going to get bombed by Rain. Misses the air shot. He's going to get the full pack. Can he find the saw? No, he's going to get taken out! I don't know yeah, if BM also fell into the pit, so there's no demo man to deny this. It's just Pyro here. He will get forced off the point. We should see cap time start Octa, to come in though, soon. Octa and Sigafu getting a lot of players up into heaven. Sigafu putting a tally down. Chinatown died to Joey in the uh, lobby. Yeah, absolutely crazy, and that was that's six players down right now. Yeah, they no didn't get cap time. Capping, yeah. Octa's sitting up here guarding Sigafu, I guess. Finally, players. Yeah, they're coming in right now, so despite Spotlight going down and a bit of a blooper, they're gonna, you know, even that out. Sticky traps on the door that Seer has. He's gonna force Rewind to go around. Exa dies to them. Spawn times are so long here More for uh, Rewind. In. Yeah, Faint getting Exa and Pablo as well. Evil's gonna get sought out on point, and it looks like this may just be the cap coming in from Space Force. Yeah, it looks like Rewind got a bit too greedy with uh, the ground they were trying to retake. They ended up dropping people oh, to you know, things that they shouldn't have. Take out BM in lower before he can get any damage out onto that point. We're finally going to see some players getting back in from around it's that wishbone area, but Cap's going to come in. Yeah, River doing his best, but 734 is a definitely it's a pretty decent time. Yeah, especially after that long, you know, kind of second push that they had. Yeah, yeah, definitely respectable time coming in from uh, Space Forest. They did a really good job to retake the ground. There were a couple of unforced errors that came out from a uh, rewind, such as BM falling into the pit. And when you lose your demo man on an 18 second respawn timer, really hard to, you know, take ground back. And at that point, they tried to get lobby control, but they lost their medic. So they just kind of bled out until they lost uh, E entirely. Yeah, just... <laughs> I don't know, it feels like that shouldn't have happened, where Spotlight, you know, got bombed by Rain, ate all of his rockets, got the full health pack, and I don't know if they were trying to give him a saw or what, but Fuzzy missed his shots and got off another two rockets, but ends up just... I don't know if Rewind got cocky off of that, but they just spontaneously spent the next minute and a half continuously wiped by Space Force. I want to give, want to give really big props to Sigafu and Okta as well for getting control of Heaven, which is such a vital area, and doing it as an NG and heavy, you know, two non-mobile classes is pretty impressive. Yeah, standard setup comes out here for uh, Space Force's defense. The, you know, the black box soldier up top with the heavy. Uh, we're interested to see what Exa does with his gun, because we've seen in the past he's very keen on moving his gun into Wishbone, as he does have it right now on A, waiting for that point to open up. Standard setups come out right now as we look for B to be opened up by a sniper or a demo pick. Yeah, we're going to see Cinder taking out Shea, but again, that defensive sniper on B so easy to play because they only have one angle really to peek from, but would not be surprised to see Shea respawn and start heading over to the A side right now. He is still in B, but no, he finds the shot onto Cinder, so he's going to win that uh, sniper trade right now, and it's going to give his team room to start moving up in that hallway. Yeah, it looks like they are pushing up staircase to start with and see if they can keep their heavy. He does get air blast up by the fire, so upper is immediately gained. As uh, Exa has his gun in a uh, wishbone right now, stab onto Joey comes out from evil. So this defense is really getting, you know, completely squashed. Yeah, the Ubers are going to be traded out, and we see that's Dread coming in from behind. Not going to be able to find Kahlo, but Shay and BM both going down. Did Exo lose his gun? No, it's still No, the setup up. is still perfect behind. They just need to re-push. 
Yeah, but with that push failing, it looks like Fuzzy's gonna go in and take the gun aggro. Very good play. Gonna allow Seer to get good damage on it. That gun is gonna go down. Really, really good idea out of Fuzzy to run that bonk here. He's gonna yeah, be slow. Very clutch. But oh, he finds the telly. Exa put behind. That's unfortunate to go down. Exa is still behind and he's gonna run into rain. Gonna get taken out. So still some flanks happening. Evil. But, oh. Evil finds the stab in on Spotlight. Really not a good thing as Kahlo now sitting on 70% Uber. Not up too many players, but those will spawn before Spotlight's able to, gonna be able to get anywhere close to an Uber. Yeah, really makeshift hold coming out again as the gun has been moved all the way back from Sigafu. X's setup has been taken out, moved all the way back to C now as he tries to reset that up. Uh, the meta going down for Space Force means that uh, Rion will have a full Uber advantage here to push B on as uh, Dread pops the battalions to try to wait for this push. Yeah, we do have rain on E right now, getting some cap time. Actually, the combo is uh, there yeah, as the well. Yeah, the combo's there. They're trying the, the full E push. Is on Spotlight e dies right to now. evil. There's no medic. Yeah, no med. Sigafu is getting his gun up in Wishbone, though, but the Pyro's dead, so no one can blast anyone into the pit. They're going to use the Uber here, and Sig's going to have to lose, give up this gun. Yeah, he goes down, and Rewind is just speed running this map. They Everyone in Space Force is on a respawn, except for Scout Spy. Yeah, they managed to successfully sneak into E, and they're going to get set up here. Still a chance for them to uh, hold this, as there's only times, times, times three now snap. on E. So yeah. important. Really good to get that heavy out of there. Spotlight just going to try to shoot arrows. Only thing he can do, but with those traps up, may not be the best idea. Spam coming in from Space Force, though. River on there to reflect it. Yeah, this is yeah, This may just end up being a straight A E. Oh, they get no. They're able to take out Rain, so they've saved E for now. Callow. Well, the shutter gets closed, so now it's very hard to contest that for uh, the defending team. On, yeah, they, that do side. Get, they do gain the E spawn though, and no one's set up there, so it looks like the E cap is not going to succeed. But there's already pressure on C right now, and no one from Space Force is going to be able to defend this. Lots dead on Rewind, but Spotlight goes down as well to Pablo, so. I feel like Spotlight has been dead most of this round. Space Force haven't gotten an Uber since the first one. Yeah, exactly. Carson on this point, gonna be burning out. Finally gets taken out by Zoe. Great headshot. Clutch defense on C right now coming through. If Paulo can get killed here by Zoe, then this won't get capped. Does oh, get lands it. the headshot too! Channeling his actual performance right there to kind of stall this out a bit. Still four minutes on the clock is more than enough as River is gonna jump right back onto that point. Shea and immediately Shea, answers. Yeah, finds already set up in uh, on the forward, or I guess the old spawn for Rewind. Gets a good angle onto those E doors, and cap time's coming up again. Octa onto BM, gonna get taken out. Shay now railing off the headshots one at a time. Sigafu's Another mini. One. Yeah, it gets Joey Gong going down, Fuzzy as well. Space Force is bleeding players quickly, and E is very close to being capped. Someone's gonna need to make a miracle Dreadnought play if they want to hold jump this. this. But the mini's a mini though, first. and a scout on point. I don't know if he's gonna be able to make it. Someone's gotta go. Yes, yeah, Medic is sniped by Shay. Spotlight's dead again, and this gets capped. Yeah, it's just gonna end like that. Three minutes still on the clock, so you're looking at an exactly four minute cap time, I think. Coming out of a rewind to really just show a dominant steel performance here. Spotlight was dead more than he was alive that round, I'm pretty sure. It's yeah. just unfortunate. Space Force were never really able to get their bearings back together after that initial uh, push in to B with a wishbone flank coming through. Even though they did manage to repel it, they were never really able to reset. And because of that, they really just bleed over and over. And, and uh, from from what was a lot closer in time than we'd think it would be normally, that honestly kind of felt like a lost cause for Space Force. Yeah, just it feels like we saw the same them doing the same thing Fast Forward doing of just sitting nine people in that B hallway, never sending anyone into E. We saw uh, Rewind show just how great it can be to get that gun behind them. You know, it's such a distraction. Gives you so many opportunities to make plays in on B when you have that forked pressure, but... They just don't do that. You know, they, they had it happen once, almost got it, then gave up on it and just slowly waited for, you know, a miracle play to happen, which it did eventually. And, you know, they had some decent pushes through the rest of it. But, yeah, if we want to pull up the log, Spotlight coming in, that was only a four-minute push. Spotlight with four deaths in those four minutes, not what you want to see out of your medic. Yeah, really unfortunate for him. They really couldn't get ever get an Uber to try to contest the aggression of Rewind. I, I, it's really interesting what they did with the multiple pressures onto E. I've, it's been a long time since I've seen a team try to do the AE pressure without even you know going B, and it did work. They managed to get a lot of people there. Uh, eventually, you know, they do manage. They do back out because you know if B is abandoned, you just go cap B. It's a lot easier than finishing the E capture. So they do that, and then they keep rolling. And then after that, they try to pressure C. And with that C pressure, they it doesn't work again. It gets held. But because of all that pressure they had, they managed to just rotate that back E. So it seems like every time 
they found any room, they said, let's cap E with it, which is really interesting to see from a team coming out now. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of what you like to see on Steel, right? Is you put so much pressure on the defense by not committing nine players to one point and saying, all right, we're going to put people in two spots and it's up to you to figure out how to best deal with that. And it feels like, you know, Space Force never really put that pressure on to uh, rewind. They just tried to play the map linearly, say, all right, we're going to go A, B, C, and then after that, we're just going to, you know, really ignore they, they D. Tried, they, even, they even tried going D once. They, they tried going it completely linearly. And because yeah. of that, it was pretty easy for... Uh, rewind to really just get bearings and you know have a somewhat of a defense on every point. Yeah, you know, I, I was hoping that since this was their map, we'd see Space Force coming in with a bit of a better understanding of how to play Steel. But unfortunately, you know, we didn't see that from them the first half, and you know, we've seen plenty of times teams come back from a you know, one zero deficit. Could have just been a weak half out of them, and maybe they're going to be, you know, a lot uh a lot better at pulling this out now. Zoe showing uh. So he's saying that Shay showed him a new spot, so maybe that'll be something that we see. But uh, yeah, it's going to be up to Space Force now. They're uh, they're on match point for Rewind, and they're going to have to come back with the reverse sweep now. Yeah, and I want to talk about the, d the difference between uh, attacking first and defending first. When you attack first, you're a lot more conservative, because you feel like your time is manageable to defend, right? And that's what I feel like happened to Space Force, where they're like, okay, you know, it's only a seven minute time. They're like, oh, you know, we only capped B after three minutes. We can just keep going at this normally. Meanwhile, say that you're defending first, right? You now have to answer the other team on offense. So you have to be a lot more aggressive. You have to come up with a lot more strategies and ways to move around the map because you feel more pressured. So maybe with Space Force in the attacking end second, we'll see that out of them coming out after this offense from uh, Rewind. Yeah, definitely true. You know, you don't always see it, but anytime I have a choice, I always choose to defend first. Zoe going to open up with a shot onto BM right as the shutter's open, but uh, kind of to be expected, you're going to have some casualties pushing out this hallway. He backs off pretty quickly, though. So that ends up probably being a good uh, good sign for everyone. He's going to peek again, not going to find it. Shea, yeah, watching, still hasn't gotten dropped down yet, which I think is pretty surprising given his history of doing that. But maybe we'll see that this this half. Yeah, it looks like Axel set up on uh, A with his level 3 again. They're going to try the same wishbone pressure as uh, Pablo does come in with a bonk to help River Air Blast the heavy up high ground. That's very creative. He takes the teleporter right back up, though, and shreds the attackers. That's yeah, really but Carson finding a ton of frags up there. Going to take out Dread and Fuzzy. Trying we'll to go for down, that. but yeah, Octa goes down too, though, so no heavy, and that's uh, four down for Rewind, but they have the better spawns. Yeah, and if they get the teleport, and that's overall a good trade for the offense. As the X's gun goes down building in Wishbone, it looks like uh, Space Force wisened up to that now, and they get it before it can really be a nuisance. Yeah, Faint got in on the combo there. I thought I might have heard the drop sound, but fortunately, not going to end up happening. And there's a gun. X is still behind now, back at C again. Building that Pelly, a really smart play, and it's going to so give they a lot of their ground. Medic, but now blue team has the like pressure on B. They have the priority to move there. They faster. have the better Uber though, coming back in. They're going to pop in on Seer, Carson, BM, River, Exa, all going down right now. The Pop gun gets rebuilt. Next. Yeah, we see Faint coming in onto Kalo with the revolver. Can he find the last shot? He does. Kalo's going to go down, and I get a guess a uh, good kind of you know bait and switch as they backed off towards Wishbone, convinced Rio into a safe to push in before surging back in. Finding a ton of frags, including the medic. Yeah, I feel like that was a bit of a bait call from Exa because when that happens, you know, you want to say, oh, you know, combo's on me, you guys can walk into B, and they did. But the Uber gets popped out so early that it doesn't really matter if they had the ground gain. It just ran out way earlier, and they got chased down and killed. Shay yeah. tried the drop down play, it didn't work. Uh, well, we're probably going to see that again since I feel like that's his go to when they're having issues getting in on the point. Zoe now not getting sniped out immediately. Pablo and River are on A side. Not sure if they're going to be doing anything. Pablo will get onto E right now as it's pretty much undefended. Bane actually in lobby right now for some reason, but not too much going on on B side otherwise. It's going to for Axa. The entire combo is rotating to go deal with Pablo. Yeah, that's a bit much, especially during off Uber time. But as long as there's no spy to sap the gun, it oh, and, won't get down. But Gong gets picked off by the spy. Seer. I don't know why they're sending their combo here when they could just send their flank Evil's over. In, can he find anything? He had shots and gonna get Uber. Wow, that that gun being pretty powerful. The Uber's gonna come out and give China his ad back. Dread's gonna take the bomb onto Shay and take him out, but he goes down to Rain, who is hiding an upper. That gun's not gonna be long for this world. And oh, X is getting a gun set up in lobby, but no, it's gonna get taken out by Seer, who's still on E right now, so B is left pretty undefended. Evil such a nuisance really helps his uh, team push in, and they still have the full Uber advantage because Evil forcing it. So now they'll have the advantage to push in a Wishbone or off of Sea Cliff or wherever their hearts desire coming up soon. This B point pretty undefendable. It really confused as to why the combo had to be the one to rotate to deal with just a scout and why the flank wasn't on top of that. You know, Dread might have been playing in upper, but like you have him just take a buff and jump away. 
he shoots rockets onto that point, Pablo can't do anything about it. Yeah, Zoe was there. They were calling it, so they knew. Yeah, exactly. Was on it. Which is why it's even more kind of baffling. But Zoe's gonna land a shot onto Shane. Wishbone will kind of maintain this. Pablo's been bonking around for a while. Gonna get taken out right as it fades. Really good shot, but Carson hiding. Ooh, he's hiding. <laughs> gonna take out Dread. Eat up that sandwich, and here comes Exa putting in a dispenser as Space Force is back up to C. Three minutes through B, though, exactly, you know, the time that uh, Space Force got held to in that first half. So things possibly looking up for them? Yeah, Space Force with their combo holding on C here. Interesting where Exa, uh, Sigafu has his gun in lobby there, kills Pablo with it. So because of that gun not being there, it looks like uh, Space Force want to, uh, Rewind want to take Wishbone and really get pressure onto E here because the gun isn't watching it. Yeah, Spotlight will come up with Uber, though. It's going to be even. Level 2 in Wishbone already going to make denying this difficult. Rain beefs his jump, but is going to be able to get back out as River is just going to reflect these rockets out. Faint with the revolver going to try to get some more damage, and River all oh, lands and <laughs> jump onto the pipe, but goes oh, down nice. right after. Uh, Sigafu's now moving his gun to watch the point in this downtime, yeah, so that will be defended. Yeah, got popped out from Spotlight, I think, in an attempt to get the gun down. They are going to get it, but Okta's going to be left as the sacrifice here to go down to this Uber. Big kills coming in for Rewind as oh, all yeah, Space Force combo dies. Oh, yeah, going to go down. Kalo gets stabbed out. Faint doing a good job of that. Sigafu's level 2, doing a good job of denying for now. BM misses that last pipe, so it's not going to go down. And takes that X's gun in the process. Great defending from Sigafu here, but he runs out of metal, picks up to try to save it, gets mini critted down. He would so, think he would have died anyway, but here comes yeah, yeah. Rain bombing into that e-spawn. May have prime real uh, real estate in heaven right now if he can get up there. BM getting uh, sticks on the door too means that Space Force is going to have to go around. They choose the D side. BM hiding in the little you know cubby there. Going to get shots onto Zoe. Takes him out, so no sniper. Yeah, well, we weren't looking. C was capped, so the bridges are now out as they as uh, Rewind gets five people onto this point. Gonna be a really tough reading test right now, especially these longer spawn times. Yeah, no Uber close on Spotlight side. River gets blasted into the pit though. Rain, low HP and burning. They are gonna knock some players off right now, but Spotlight gets sniped out by Shea in that upper window area. Carson. Oh yeah, they need to take him out right now. Pablo's burning on point, but he's gonna take an arrow. Exit with his gun on it means that this point is gonna be capped. And Shea in the window too. Looking at, what, about a five and a half minute time? Yep, 5.35. Wow. Yeah, definitely a above average time it's still doable for space force but again with rewinds pushes i love how they apply pressure one place then they're in their downtime they're like okay we can walk e now the gun isn't watching e we can walk e uh they rotated people help deal with c we can walk e and it's just it's, it's such a pressure game that they're playing they're really just like taking whatever is being given to them without exception and just you want to look i that window that spotlight got killed out of is like the number one ways med die on steel because it's such a cheesy angle but you got it. You got to be aware of it, and just you know, you need to know when the sniper's up there. You can't peek it. But with five and a half minutes, Space Force can cap this. You know, it's not it's not overly long on steel, but it means they're gonna have to be quick and they're gonna have to be decisive with what they do. They're gonna have to play this map as you have to play steel. You can't play around the world on them and expect to take five a five and a half, half minute, minute. Yeah, yeah, against the better team. You know, you're gonna have to be smart about it. You're gonna have to fork your pressure, get multiple parts of your team working well together. And Sigafu, does he even have a gun up? No, he's just building it now. Mm. I mean, to be fair, it's not going to come out until a bit later. I don't like... I want to see him move it A-side instead of the staircase. Early snipe onto Gong doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, Scottish Resistance, actually. Just for the traps, it looks like. That's interesting. interesting. Choice. Yeah. I, I, can't, uh, I can't condone it, but... If they think it'll help deny, like, time, you know, now that you have to look and kill more sticky traps, that could buy them time. So we'll see how that works out for them. Gun not going A, so if we're just leaving it in spawn again. So the forking pressure, we'll have to see if that is able to come out from just Dread and uh, Faint. Yeah, Faint behind in on B, maybe looking to see if there's anything he can go. He goes for the decloak right now, he's gonna get the sap down. He's gonna shoot it. Great pipe from the ammo to Faint kills him, and the gun yeah. doesn't go down either. That's just missed time. A bit low, but... Yeah, I don't know why he was up there. They're gonna Uber through upper very quickly. Carson's gonna get popped on saving him. He's gonna take the telly to get back into <laughs> upper, but tons waiting. of frags being traded back and forth. Exa loses his gun, but Space Force is not getting cut off here. Medic. Yeah, he's in. Can he find... Oh, oh great headshot! Gets, he gets scorched shot off of the health pack, and he's gonna go down. Tons of deaths on both sides, but Space Force, I think, with their... No, Spotlight's gonna go down as well, and Rewind may come up with this as Shea takes out Seer to end it. 3v3. Faint in behind, not gonna find anything, but and those last, spawns... The last two surviving members are able to hold this for rewind. Spawns are able to come back out before Space Force can get aggressive. They do have high ground, so they're looking to get spam off. 
but the, the mini is set up wrangling that high ground, so we're going to have to see what they decide to do here. Yeah, Dredd just kind of sitting at the shutter, getting comms, I guess, eyes for his team. They're going to start moving back in now. Prime spam for Seer to come Shane up here. here. Yeah, he, he might be find able to a shot spotlight. on the spotlight. Ooh, no, he's going to go the mini. the mini as it comes up. Got greedy with that, but no sniper, no soldier. Going to be very good for them pushing in here. And they are going to start getting cap time on this, and I think everyone's going to have to give it up. So a good start for yeah, Space Force, for but the battle's just beginning. Yeah, two minutes for B. They have three and a half to take the to take E off this. We'll have to see where they decide to pressure next. If they feel like three and a half minutes is too much pressure, they might decide to just all in on E. But I think they'll try to go for C here because they did have success pushing it. Uh, I want to see like where they're going to be able to put their flank right now. Dread is in connector trying to clear this out. Sticky traps above, but you know no lobby pressure, no E pressure coming out quite yet. As Dread does jump on E, we'll get taken oh, out by this gun. he's going to jump right into the gun though, so unfortunately gets taken out. Exa choosing to get that gun on E, probably prioritizing that, knowing that Space Force is going to have to try something, you know, kind of sketchy. Shane, a really interesting angle on the metal sheet here, going to be able to see right into the gate's opening. Not the spot I'm super familiar with, but Sigafu does have a telly here. She lands the shot onto Okta though, and he may find more as Carson gets aggressive, going to be forced out onto the fist, but we'll get that full pack and be fine. Shay's still there though, there though, threatening this. Their mech doesn't want to walk in. They're going to leave Cliff. They're going to go back to Wishbone. Yeah, you know, with only 240 left here. on the clock. Yeah, can they catch out the demo? They do get the demo here, so that's really big. Carson dead too. No demo, no heavy. This should be aggressive pressure coming in right yeah, now. Yeah, there's going to be the drop. Calum dies to the butter knife coming out of faint. So the Uber's going to get forced out from Spotlight. I don't know if he just didn't expect it. He'd be taking it off if I was him, but... They may want to actually try going around the world here. I don't know, they're going to come down with C with about two minutes left on the clock. C's Dredd. definitely good because of the bridges, so oh, we're going to have to see how much right pressure now. they can get. The gun is going to get he taken out gun? here. Yeah, Exa got sniped oh, out no, from no, Zoe, and they're going to have heaven control right now. C's Bombing coming from down. Rainbow. Oh, he falls in the pit. <laughs> oh, tragic. But yeah, no, Dread and oh, C are both up sign. there. Shay taking out Spotlight, definitely not a good sign of things to come, but... You know, with Bridges this upper out. control, BM's gonna get sniped out too, so no demo men. They're gonna get cap time going in on here. And with only a minute 50, they're gonna get a significant amount of time. They are losing players though. That 20 seconds on down. BM, Chinatown, and Shay though. No medic Fuzzy. demo. Fuzzy loses the 1v1 on point, Zoe not able to. He will get Pablo actually as he's running out, but not able to save his scout. A minute and... 35 coming up here. It, yeah. it, it, it's coming up on time where you need times, you know, four or five for the entire time. So they really need to start getting pressure. They need yeah, a gun. Yeah, for those who don't know, Steel is a minimum 30 second cap time with five players, 70 seconds with a times one. And unlike other maps, the time does not go faster than times five. So you get times five on that and you sit on it. Shay gonna Shay's get dead. taken out by Zoe. Very good pick out of him. And with a minute left, there's a ton of pressure onto E right now. No one on Space Force, or Rewind, excuse me, in a good position to cover it. Rivers gonna pit. go in. Yeah, doesn't get anyone in the pit right now. Rain getting rockets in, gonna find some frags, but this cap time's still coming up. Evil's gonna get caught out, will burn down, I believe. No, gets the pack, but all the bomb and they need more people in the point. Spam. Gonna find a ton of frags, tons of space force is dead right now. Octa's alone at the E spawn. Any kills can get our value because of these 20 second spawns in. Yeah, Zoe's up top, may get spammed out by Rain. Gonna get forced out a little bit. Oh, Cal is playing a dangerous game right now, and Shea takes out Zoe. So with 30 seconds left, Space Force have their what's going to be their last spawn wave. They got to come in here. Point's Pablo, half cap. Yeah, it's half cap. Pablo getting a lot of damage. They need to start getting pressure now and start finding frags. Faint, Fuzzy, and Joey are all down. River's going to get taken out. Evil's on low HP, but they just don't have the numbers. The spawns are quick, but they're dying even faster. Octa coming in now. He's going to get stabbed out by Evil here, and I just it's not going to happen. 10 seconds left. The GGs are called. And yeah, Uber's uh, gonna get popped out from China there. Guitar taunt on the point. Fuzzy's gonna crater in on the point, and that's gonna be rewind. Moving on to the semifinals. Yeah, clean 5-0 in round score. Did not drop a single round, even though Space Force they were definitely in a lot of these rounds. They were definitely had the chance to take you know points off of uh, rewind here. They did show vulnerabilities that Space Force did take advantage of, especially uh, with mispositionings from combo members at key points. But regardless, clean game does end up coming out. 5-0 and uh we do see rewind moving on here to is, is this upper bracket finals uh, i believe this is going to be yeah upper bracket finals it would be yeah and then the winner of that i'm assuming that k and d took the victory here we can go check logs on that real quick looks like k and d is up 2-0 on product right now yeah k and d i want to say took the 2-0 on borneo so they're one round away from winning and i believe that uh yeah the frags are 
heavily in Candy's favor. Both rounds have been under five minutes. But uh, yeah, we will have combined logs coming in for this most recent match here. And if we go back, try to pull those up, like we will see them sorting out by kills. Carson's going to top the board right above Zoe. Zoe having a fantastic game, really the only player from his team in that top six there, stuck in amongst the Red Sea. Red also coming in and uh, coming in at seventh, I believe that is. But other than that, out of the top nine, seven of them going over to Rewind, who just had a great game. You know, Space Force really did show some signs of promise, some signs of life, but just ultimately weren't able to take anything out. And uh, we do have uh, some Rewind players here for interviews. We want to tell them to get in here, move them in. I think we'll just link the channels here. Might be a little easier. Hello. Hello, Victorious Gamers. Hello. It looks like we're going to have BM, Carson, Pablo, River, and Shay all coming in right now. So uh, I guess to kind of start things off, you know, what, what did you guys think of the match? You know, how do you, how do you guys think Space Force played? Since coming into it, I think a lot of people thought this game was going to be pretty one-sided. And while, you know, the match score does reflect that, I don't think it shows how close the rounds really were. Don't be shy. <laughs> Uh, All right, maybe uh, maybe another question, maybe in order than uh. <laughs> All right. Uh, so it, it was a five zero coming out here. Uh, was the channels linked? Channels were linked. Yeah. Oh, no, we they're them muted. Talk. They're muted. Oh, uh, well, because I just dragged them in. Yeah, but they definitely weren't muted before. So. Hello. Hello? 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 Were you guys talking before, or? We yeah, were. A little bit. Yeah, it wasn't, right, wasn't coming again. through, I guess. I don't know. But Why am I getting be. muted? Oh, because you kept unmuting yourself just as I was. Interesting. Alright, so yeah, I guess uh, going off of that you know, other question, you know, what were your guys' thoughts on the match? Just because I feel like looking at the round scores doesn't really tell you how close of a game that was in a lot of places. The match was more difficult than it anticipated, not gonna lie. Uh, Zoe came with the A game, but it wasn't enough, what can I say? Carson, what are your thoughts, man? Yo, you know, like... Like, I, right, I came that's, in, uh, you know? That's not, that's not... <laughs> oh, he's gone! <laughs> have to... all, like... all the love, all the love for friction, but, uh... Yeah. Not, not gonna, not gonna let him in on this one, unfortunately. <laughs> wow. <laughs> As, uh... <laughs> yeah, the enemy team brought a good fight, but it wasn't really strong enough to beat us. They were like, uh, I could tell they were like uh, adapting pretty well, you know. All I'm yeah, saying like is, uh, on steel. Yeah. all I'm saying is that uh, Faint didn't use bicycle, and uh, he top death. Just want to point that out. Bringing your personal grudge in for the interview. Mm. I see, I see. But yeah, no, I mean, I do want to talk about Zoe since I think, especially considering that he was, you know, throwing up in between respawn timers. He was raping. Was yeah, came out, with a, came out with a really crazy game. Um, yeah, you know, just I guess what was your kind of preparation coming in for this? Since I think you guys picked Asheville and, you know, I, we, we saw very much how that really played with your guys' super aggressive style. But, you know, they, they came out really strong in a lot of the mids and uh, we had a good performance. So, you know, what do you think... What were your kind of preparations, and you know, what did you catch from them? All right. So our only steel preparation was uh, the Empire trolling us in our pregame. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our that. only preparation was a terrible fucking pregame scrim against a bunch of retards. <laughs> then they didn't. They really did not want to play steel, they, they, so they, they trolled wanna, us. They didn't want to play steel, so when we went to the map steel, they just like. They try to get the fastest time po or try to give us the fastest time possible to go to the next map. Yeah. But I feel like we still did really well. Yeah, yeah like in that in that first half you guys had a really good push, just you yeah. know, really playing that the the A B E area really well. And I guess technically it was an A B E cap, because you guys got B before you got E, but it it really was an A E in a lot of ways, yeah. which you, know, yeah. you don't see come out overly often. Oh, uh, like the, that second half, I feel like it it was like a lot closer. It just came down more to like individual yeah. plays. 
Yeah, yeah. In the second but half, I think the uh, big issue was that I was on Scottish Resistance. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we, we saw noticed that. that. <laughs> we, 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 tell, we told him Bull and Mayo did it on A, and he forgot to switch off, or he just didn't switch off. You know? Yeah, I didn't want to switch off, and we still held it properly, or decently at least. It felt like in the beginning, at least, Space Force was playing the map really linearly, where like they were just kind of ignoring the fact that E was open. Yeah. You know, I think that led to their really long B cap time in the beginning, because they, they had like one play where Dread went behind, but it didn't work. And then they just held nine people up in the hallway. But in that second half, it felt like they were really kind of getting in a lot better, you know, managing that kind of split pressure between the points. And I think that's why we saw it go so close. Since you almost, you know, I, I think they had a very good shot at winning that at the end. You know, BMU came in with a really good bomb out of rain, I believe it was, to get a ton of frags on the point. But if that doesn't happen, you know, maybe we're still playing this match right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it was just like a lot of individual play that second half. Like, came in close, made it really close. Like, because we, we, I mean, like, for the most part, like, as a team, we kind of got, like, a little outplayed in the second half, I feel. Yeah, we couldn't counter their sniper in A window, like, at all. He would just sit there and get a 5k and we had no answer. I would try to spam my stickies up there, but they were just getting stuck. Excuses. I don't know, man. Gotta, yeah, I was, gotta I was, have the pipes up yeah. there. I was, I was very impressed with how you guys uh, did play steel because it seemed like every time that you had uh, any space, uh, that Space Force gave you any space, you said, uh, we can get E pressure with this, we can get uh, pressure on C with this. And uh, mm -hmm. really hoping that you know this is just a sign of what's to come for your coordination up against... Uh, I think it's K and D's confirmed for the upper bracket finals. Uh, I they were the, yeah they were one win away, one round away from uh, sweeping Empire. Uh, we can check that right. Yeah. So uh, right assuming now. K and D does come in with that victory, how do you guys yeah. think you're gonna yeah, fare was, against them next week? For K and D, we're gonna win. But it's simply. Win. Yeah. We, we 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 unfortunately had to play with a very foreign combo this match. I think that's why it was close as well. We didn't have a heavy or a demo, so we're better. <laughs> Probably, as oh, Carson main... would say. <laughs> oh, yeah. Even even if Carson wasn't your main heavy, I think he certainly stepped up and did his part tonight. He uh, oh yeah, he slammed. Yeah, kind of destroyed so. Fane. He did pretty well. Ripper, no one cares. He got yeah, double my double my spy kills. I guess uh, I guess kind of since Zag mentioned that you guys were playing K and D, are playing K and D next week. You know what's. You know, again, I don't wanna, I don't wanna make you guys show your hand or anything, but you know, what are some strategies coming into that? You guys do have the seed advantage on them, so you know, you'll get that last map pick. But at the same time, you know, they, they did beat you in the regular season. Uh, I believe it was a six-one overall, but those rounds were very close in a lot of the times. So, you know, obviously that was a couple of weeks ago, and you've both had a lot of time to, improve and you know, get better. So, how do you feel your chances are for that? You know, what might you be looking to gain a leg up? I feel like on on the maps we played them like we we like we all had like the the right idea. It was just like uh, they had like the the better coordination. They were they were like more prepared for what we had. Yeah. You know. We we like we were we were all doing the right thing. We just like weren't doing it exactly like at the same time or uh, together. You know, basically, we, we were just like less of a team. We were just like making solo plays. Not really going for the team play, as like K and D was already prior to. Yeah, you guys think you've Im you think you've improved, you know, significantly yeah, we in that matter. Improved on that map, it's on Asheville especially. I think we've improved a lot. Yeah, your Asheville definitely did look very strong with how aggressive you guys play that, like, coordinated as a team, really pushing across and getting a bunch of dry push pressure that really just Space Force didn't know how to respond to, and they just lost players. They to just they drop one person and then suddenly there's six people on yeah. point. Like, oh my yeah, lord, yeah. they're they're <laughs> all in again. Yeah, that it's was like the kept plan. Happening. And it's, it, it's really fun to watch just because sometimes, you know, you see if you're not casting the top teams, you'll see, you know, them kind of drag around a bit like, oh, they got a sniper, but they're not pushing. With you guys, it's like the sniper goes down and then suddenly everyone's in. Everyone. And, you know, some sometimes, sometimes it doesn't work, but more often than not, it does. And it's really, it's really entertaining to cast at the very least. It's like, it's not like when like a team sacking, like you, you think it's just like the players just going for the medic, like along with that, like you literally just have to like, you go for the point at the same time and it's like it's just as good as like it's just, it's just as good as like doing damage to their medic getting a force you know yeah dry pushing on Asheville is really good even though sometimes i wouldn't be on the same page as my team and just die it still worked out pretty well yeah definitely impressive the performance you guys put up there any other questions for them nick uh i don't think there's too much here um 
I guess, uh, yeah, I guess we'll probably wrap this up in a sec. So any kind of closing remarks, shout outs, trash talk, uh, shout out to duck, uh, shout out to Joshi Washi, duck Rider 32 Saya. Uh, yeah, please play for my team faith. And, uh, yeah, I miss you, duck. Don't play right. games. All right. So some memorials there. Zag, anything you want to say? Uh, definitely very impressed with uh, Rewind's uh, gameplay coming out here. I really hope that next week we get a Clash of the Titans in the Upper Bracket Finals. And I do believe that actually this Saturday, um, I'm not sure if there's going to be a Lower Bracket match this Saturday. I think we may not have one this time uh, because you know the brackets are currently synced right now, so the Lower Bracket should happen at the same time as Upper Bracket, meaning both matches on Monday are going to happen at the same time, and as much as you know, I'd like to watch Empire versus uh, Space Force in that you know lower bracket. I do think that K and D Rewind clearly the match to watch. Um, so we should be bringing that to you this Monday. If the lower bracket is this weekend, we'll be hitting you with Empire versus Space Force as well. Um, yeah, I guess I just want to say big shout out to Space Force. Really, you know, playing their hearts out tonight because it really did feel like they've improved a ton over this season. You know, compared to when we saw them in the beginning of the season uh, take on. I believe it was rewind back in week i want to say um it feels like they've come a long way since then so shout out to them you know shout out to uh rewind for having such a good game and uh shout out to zag and dolphin you know hearts in the chat for them for their continued success so for uh this is alto for zag dolphin you know with the rest of the uh the rewind boys in here see you next week